my beautiful people of the internet and thank you so much for tuning into this video <laughs> today we are watching or we are experiencing tom jones i will never fall in love again from 1967 where he performed the song on bbc4 well as you just heard in the intro one of the most known songs of tom jones at least for me is the s bomb it's such a great song it really sticks it really sticks. I have never heard this song before. This is my first time reaction to the song. I'll never fall in love again. Well, it seems like it is a more emotional song. At least that's what I'm expecting from the title. By the way, there are a lot of birds in my area. Let me just close the window real quick. Yeah, I've never heard this song before. It seems to be a, an emotional one um, from 1967. That's pretty long time. Again, I'm very excited, like in every video, to discover more of music, more of artists sharing their emotions, stories, soul. And I'll Never Fall In Love Again seems to be a very deep song. I could be completely wrong. I have no idea. <laughs> That's just my expectation. If it's going to be a party rock song, great. <laughs> By the way guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I, I always keep you updated on Instagram, what's going on. So feel free to check out my Instagram. Also, if you want to support me, please subscribe, comment and like, but only after you've watched this video. I really want your honest feedback on this one. And of course, other suggestions for people or artists or musicians that I should watch. I have a Patreon where you can also support me more if you would like to. A lot of exclusive content on there. I think that's enough talking for now. So let's just start with the video. Are you ready? Because I'm ready, so let's start. Okay, this is a good throwback into time. So good. voice he has. He has so much power <laughs> in his voice. Wow, wow, wow. And I really like the little crisp he has in his voice. It makes it so... Mm. So that's a song about his girl betraying him. The strings in the background, so good. And it looks like
reminds me of Elvis Presley, they have a little similar voice going on or am I just tripping? It could be that I'm wrong, but that's just the impression that I get. It's so, ah, oh, again, his voice is so powerful. It even looks a little bit like, he has like this Elvis Presley vibe going on. Great, let's continue. And it looks like I get it right. It is about a man who was in love, very much in love, probably the love of his life, and he was hearing things about this woman, about his woman, doing things with other men that she sh wasn't supposed to do in a relationship, and then he caught her. It is kind of a bittersweet moment because if there wouldn't be those moments in life, how would we have those songs? There wouldn't be any songs like that. There would only be happy, good songs. So to have these moments, especially for musicians, is heartbreaking. But to be able to take that and put it into a song and create something that millions of people can relate to is mind-blowing and is incredible. You can really feel that he feels the song. song it really is such a beautiful song it reminds me of people dancing in the 50s and I got I got a little flashback to back to the future you remember that scene when they were dancing in the ballroom those beautiful gowns that's what it reminded me of like this little slow dance moment even though it is a sad song like you can definitely slow dance to it and that's it for today's video guys I hope you liked it Please don't leave yet. Subscribe, comment and like. It really helps with my channel, really helps with the algorithm. If you have any other suggestions what I should listen to from that era, from similar artists, please let me know. Thank you so much and see you in the next one. Goodbye.